Now, Weather on the Threes, sponsored by Bufalo Contracting. Welcome back. Live at the Landscape Connection, we talked about flocking the Christmas tree. Got Michelle, got Glenn. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning. We very seldom get you in the camera shot, uh, but he's got everything all set to go this morning. I love doing this with you. I know. Today we put you in a plastic room. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cold out here, too, because we've got temperatures in the mid and upper 30s. Rain continues to come down. I can hear the pitter pat on the ceiling above. Let's go ahead and look at the forecast details, and then we'll flock this Christmas tree live. And we do look at the Maxstrom Tracker radar which has that shield of rain continuing to move up our way it's going to be wet today grab the cruddy shoes the umbrellas the rain jackets temperatures in the upper 30s at rfd but up to the north and west colder and that's where we get closer to freezing and could be looking at that changeover into wet snow i do think it's going to be kind of half and half today it depends on temperature so a lot of us to the south and east of the viewing area might just end up with all rain up to the north and west though some of that slushy snow there are no winter weather advisories to pass along but that doesn't mean we won't see some slushy snow accumulation of maybe an inch today and i think through early sunday Time to time, we could go on to, as a total, get anywhere from a one to three inch slushy accumulation out of all this. 39 the high today, down to 32 tonight, 40 tomorrow, then 39 coming into our Sunday forecast. Dry as we get into our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, upper 30s through Wednesday, and then 40s as we get on into our Thursday forecast. Live look at the primetime East State Street can, and here we go. You say I need to go up and down? Yep. It's just that simple. And I'm filling in the empty spots, right? Yep. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Faster. Uh -oh. Faster. Faster. <laughs> I thought I was being more thorough. No. But it's going to keep spinning. Okay. Here we go. How many spins does it take to get a tree perfectly flocked, Michelle? I don't know, probably eight or nine different rotations. And okay. some of it depends on, are you flocking it light? Are you flocking it heavy? This one's going to be heavy. Okay. There's a lot up there. <laughs> Try to concentrate maybe down here a little bit. Right. There you go. Right. Get some down here. All right. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So these are really safe trees. Once you flock them, you basically are sealing them, and they become flame retardant. And think about doing your family picture in front of this. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. You have a blank canvas to decorate. 25% off all of our fresh trees flocking and all of the greens outside. We also hand make all of our stuff. That's some serious flock on there. You know, if temperatures were about 32, 33 degrees. This is what all of our trees outside this is what would all the look trees like. Would look like. Oh, oh, I got to keep going. You're not <laughs> stopping, are you, Glenn? <laughs> Woo! There all we right, go. got your workout. I think I did. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, flock five or six of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But again, I want to say that you include that flocking and that 25% off. Yes, we do. And so Glenn right now is going to just wet it down a little bit and throw some iridescent glitter on it too. Ooh. So we'll let him finish that up. Bonus run. I love it. All right, Marta, we'll send it back to you. I hope I did it right. I know that looks, looks pretty good. good. Looks like got your work That would be called Aaron. blizzard. That difficult. That's our blizzard. <laughs> there you go. Can I tip it upside down? No, it'll dry and none of this will fall it off. It was a bad joke for Dairy Queen. Back to you. It's looking good. Thank you.